bringing performing arts education to your doorstep. Let's welcome our guest, Lori Grinnell, founder and executive director of House Theater, and Rachel Primo, the organization's choral director. Ladies, it's good to have you with us. Mm -hmm. Great idea. So House Theater, who is this structured for, Lori? This is structured for the homeschool community and the community at large. So as a, I got to experience things growing up and, and being performing arts from the time I was a child, I learned that there were ways that I could learn a skill set, but then later on apply the skill set in, set in a large group setting like community theater. Mm. Um, so this house provides a way for the kids to learn skill specific areas and then later on apply those skill specific areas in large groups like our summertime theater or house for the holidays where they can work alongside seasoned adult performers and then just sharpen that skill that much more. It's a great opportunity. Were you homeschooled yourself? I was not homeschooled. Rachel was. You, you were homeschooled. Whole life. Yes. You, really? Did you, what was that like? Um, not having access to the arts? Did you have access to the arts? I did, um, but not in the way that house provides and that's one of the reasons that I have loved being a part of this. I feel like I'm getting to give my students an opportunity that I wish I could have had. I would have loved to be a part of a choral program or get to be in musicals when I was younger. Um, so it's really exciting to get to give that back now to homeschoolers in this area. So when you were homeschooled, what was your outlet? Um, I took private lessons. Um, that was a big part of it. And there are, were lots of little choirs throughout the area, um, but no one just umbrella arts organization for students that are looking to hone not just choral skills, but dance skills and theater skills and all of that kind of thing. Yeah, I want to talk about so, the different arts that you do touch. Yeah. And you know, when you think of homeschool children, you think that they're just within those four walls all day long, every single oh, day, no. right? <laughs> so yes, and so you really circulate maybe even more so than mm. the normal student who's within those four walls on campus at a school. So yeah. so for for the arts though, that's being taken away from public school systems more and more every single year. Mm -hmm. And here you're filling that void. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's exactly right. We're filling the void. We saw a need. Um, we see how children thrive and grow with performing arts. We see how it um, betters them as future adults and mm -hmm. contributors to society. So this is just filling a void in the homeschool community. But things like our summertime program, there are a lot of public school kids that come to be a part of that because it fills a void for those kids too. You're right, exactly. And I would think that as a homeschool child, you have a little bit more opportunity to even do those field trips. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's with your, your parents or caretaker yes. or something, but you actually get to go out places and see things in a tangible yes. form. Yes, yeah, and we always used to joke that we felt like in our homeschool community that all the homeschoolers had a much more of a social life than the public schoolers yeah, did because we weren't stuck in yeah. school. Yeah. All day um, and you just finish the work at the time that it takes you to do the work and then yeah. you have all this free time available right. to participate in arts organizations and do uh, all the students we teach are so social they yeah. are incredibly social so, so how does house theater take that experience to the next level um, well we offer not just theater classes but also choir and dance and um, other opportunities to perform with adults as well um, so they're not just honing one specific skill they're really becoming well-rounded mm -hmm. as performers and, and how do you do that? So how, how are the lessons dispensed? Uh, well, through a lot of our school educational portions um, take place on Mondays. So a typical Monday morning, you would kind of come in and you'd do your theater. We have um, our age group demographics within the theater range. So your elementary, your junior, your senior group. We also have a group called the crew that's learning construction and learning the tech side of theater. Um, which is a great component for kids who love the environment but don't want to be in the spotlight. We have a group lunch together where f whole families can come in and join in and lunch and everybody can kind of collaborate and work together just to build up these children. And then they'll break off into their skill specific areas like choir, dance, we have tap jazz courses, we have um, script is our acting class, we have Vox that is our resident auditioned acapella group that these kids can branch into um, beginner levels but like more advanced levels of learning like Vox. And mm -hmm. So so what I'm understanding is this is these are not lessons that are learned in your living room. You actually go to a location yes. to take all of these classes. Mm -hmm. Correct. And where is it? This is at Northwood Baptist Church in okay. North Charleston. Okay mm -hmm. and this is where you're also having a performance coming up. This is. Uh, what is the performance? The performance this is your good man, Charlie Brown. This is our senior stage house class. Uh, currently, they are seventh through twelfth graders. 
performing this music. That's right. great. And it's going to be happening at the end of the month, March 28th. That's a Tuesday. Then again on Friday, March 31st and Saturday, April 1st, all at 7 p.m. Um, we also have a 10 a.m. matinee as well. Correct. So you've got several performances. We're going to put that information up on the screen. I want to thank you ladies so much for sharing with us. Thank House you. Theater, thank you it's a so great much. idea. Yes. Thanks. We're back after this.